Hey there, Aries. Hope you guys' week has been good to you guys so far. Appreciate you guys so much. Let's find out what the cards are saying and what's coming out for you guys. This high is good at this time. This is for my beautiful sign of Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries. Tell about Aries. What does Aries need to know right now for the highest good? Alright. So, some sexual energy. Somebody's trying to rekindle something here with you. One more for Aries. Cover that up. So somebody here is trying to figure out any way, shape, and form that they can try to come in here and guilt trip you. This is somebody, um, this person could be sleeping with someone still. This is somebody here that's trying to figure out, like, they feel like if they get you in the bedroom, like, they can keep you stuck. So there's some choices headed your way here. Somebody's trying to get you to choose them. It's overall energy for Aries. Overall energy for Aries. Blame. So somebody here wants to blame anybody else but for where they, you know, went wrong somewhere. Like, this is somebody that doesn't take accountability. Like, you accept responsibility for, for your well-being, and somebody likes to point the finger and blame everybody else for their problems here. So this is the type of person that will blame you for sleeping with someone else. It's all your fault. That's what this one does. Discipline. So we're accomplishing anything that we set our mind to, and we're creating firm boundaries with someone here and like, like this is a type of person that wants to try to really point the finger at you that much more because you are creating boundaries and somebody's mad that you still have this disciplined energy where you keep moving forward regardless like you could care less what people are saying like you're moving forward Aries angels have come to you so you have a lot of angelic protection around you so you guys could resonate has light work with earth, earth angels here but Somebody doesn't realize how much protection that you have around you. It's like somebody wants to blame. Now, this person could try to blame you for, like, there's something about this person's life falling apart, and they want to blame you for it. But if you are my earth angels here, what do they expect to happen? I mean, what do they expect? Something important is coming, so be prepared. Yeah, you've got some decisions coming your way, so just, you know. Make sure that you're choosing wisely. I'll clarify that in a second here. But you definitely got some important things headed your way. And it's like this energy is trying to tiptoe back into your life and guilt trip you. Because it's almost like they know that you've got something important coming. So this person could be like, like read cards or getting readings on you. So like this person knows that something important is coming. Go enjoy your pleasure alone. So this is about tapping into who you are. Um... Reaching higher levels of consciousness and really tapping into that beautiful manifestation abilities that we all have. We just got to tap into it. And you clearly are in this right now. That's why it's something else about you really creating more boundaries. Like the more that you cut out past connections, the more that you're able to grow and evolve. Because when we're done with cycles with people, we've learned the lessons of time to move forward. So <clears throat> somebody might, might have painted you out as weird like you if you're like me you don't have to be around a lot of people to feel important and it's like somebody was trying to make you look bad because you don't need to be around a lot of people like you you enjoy your time alone aries aries exuberance every day i'm renewed in vitality and youthfulness i have the zest and exuberance to live life to the fullest so so you are picking up on people that look like you may age gracefully like you have this this young energy to you whether you may look young or you may just have this young energy or you have both but somebody doesn't like the way that you just step more into your vitality every day like you age backwards so or your soul's definitely young at heart so somebody doesn't like that you you're able to live life to the fullest they don't like that and then healing i release all blockages to my well-being perfect health is restored to me now so somebody is trying to figure out how to heal a connection with you and somebody's mad that you are healing that you're moving forward and somebody did everything in their power to keep you stuck so you wouldn't move forward? What needs to be surrendered for Aries? What needs to be surrendered for Aries? Surrender negative thinking. We have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly we focus on positive affirmations. So we're getting rid of that negative thinking. So it's like somebody here is mad that you no longer think negatively. Somebody's mad that, that you have control over your thoughts. Like this is the type of person that wants nothing more to control everything that you do, even your thoughts. So this is like a lot of heavy projection that this person was doing towards you. Surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout, slow down, honor your need for quiet time. So 
might have some sleepless nights here or you've went through sleepless nights, but this is just taking time to really rejuvenate here. Somebody could be not having good, like they're, somebody else is having sleepless nights because this person's trying to figure out the best way to try to get back into your life. But it's like this person knows it's not going to work. This person's like burning themselves out, trying to burn you out and you ain't burning out. Like you are, you have this renewed energy every day you wake up and somebody's mad about that. Surrender your desire to control people. Being over-controlling can sabotage relationships. So this is about learning how to back off and regroup your thoughts and be able to approach it in a better manner if you even approach it at all. Some of you guys are just keeping your boundaries. So this is somebody that's mad that they can't control you. And this is a snake. This is Snakes only get bigger because they shed their skins. It's still a snake. So this is somebody that's mad that they can't control you. They're mad they, keep, they can't control your healing either. I keep getting that. This is somebody that's mad that you keep continuing to grow it's like you're outgrowing them and they're mad about that tell me about that hank panky was that there queen of wands so this person is definitely still sleeping with someone this is somebody here that is trying to get you back in this lustful energy with them this person knows that you're very powerful so now this is for some of you, not all of you. Now something here about your your sexual energy is very powerful and this person was like feeding off of that energy and now that they don't have access to that energy anymore, it's like they they feel like they're depleted while you are have this renewed vitality every day. This person tries to use sex to heal something too. They think that that's a way to like that's an apology because this person doesn't like to take accountability. So they want to try to get you in the bedroom here and they feel like that's the apology. So who is that person? Like they must really think that they King Dana Ling, <laughs> Queen P-U-S-S-Y type energy. Tell me more. <laughs> Tell me more. Trying to get you back in a connection. Some of you guys could be talking to new connections here and this person's trying to get in the way by having sex with you. And somebody is still committed to someone else and they're trying to come in here and, and get you back so this person is like this is somebody here that even if they're in a commit a commitment i don't care if there's marriage involved this is somebody here that will will um still step out on it they don't care hmm. this is somebody here that is still entertaining other options still flirting and Putting their crotch on everything is what this one does. And this person tried to paint you out in this lighting, but that's who they are. So if there was like cheating in this connection, this person automatically blamed you for it. It was all your fault. So, but when it was this other person. So this person's mad that you've got your boundaries up. This person's mad that you're protecting yourself. You're healing. This is somebody here that is very guarded. Like this is somebody that may have some kind of like, mm, this is somebody that may have some kind of like hidden fetishes or... Like, maybe, like, be attracted to the opposite sex and they try to hold that back. That's for somebody, not everybody. But this is somebody that tries to hold back that they're a risque, but it's, they try to say it was you and it's them. So, this is somebody here that doesn't like the changes. This is somebody trying to come towards you and tell you that something's going to change between the two of you. So, I feel like you, for some of you, you may have given this person a, a, a second chance. And they are mad that... You have changed things up completely here. Like, something has changed since you're not sleeping with them, too. I keep getting that. There's something here about your your powerful sexual energy that this person's mad that they don't have access to it anymore. So something like you heal and replenish somebody here, and they're mad that they don't have access to your energy anymore. This person could be doing sex magic with somebody else to try to get you back, too. That's for somebody. So this person's trying to come towards you, trying to figure out how to manipulate you. And this is someone that tried to get you to be looked at in a bad lighting here. Somebody wanted you to be looked at as compulsive, like would just entertain anything that opened its legs type energy. And that's not who you are. That's who they are. Jeez. All right. Time out rekindle for Aries. So this person wants to try to come back after they did all this stuff to you. Time out rekindle. The moon, man. This person could be trying to do something to mend the connection with you. But this is a very... False person, man. Lies, deception, man. Very secret motives, too. Like, this is somebody that is... This I keep getting that this person's like, misses your, your powerful sexual energy, man. This is a different read today. So this is somebody that is mad that they don't have access to it anymore. But they're going to try it, though. 
Man, tell me more. That is the truth. So this person is now seeing the truth. This person knows you know the truth. This person knows that you still have victory and success. And this person is trying to do everything in their power to get attention. And somebody is definitely doing some kind of spell work to try to make you two mend a connection. Man, this is somebody that has to win at all costs. This is somebody that doesn't like to feel defeated. I'll just tell you that. So it's almost like this person knows you've got something important coming your way. And they're trying to get back in your life because they know it's coming your way. So this is somebody here that's mad that you are still moving forward. This is somebody here that is likes to cause endings. This is somebody that's trying to come toward... Oh, thank you, Spirit. So this is somebody here that's trying to come towards you because they know you've got something important coming your way and they want to end that. So this is somebody that's got hidden motives towards you. Mm -hmm. Five of Swords. This person sees you in this independent energy right now. This is somebody here that... Man, this person does not like to feel defeated. This is somebody here that's mad that you put your sword down and walked away and created boundaries. And now they want to come back and play that tit for tat game. Like, how dare you be over there looking good, feeling good, having that vitality here. And I'm going to come in there and I'm going to play my cards right. I'm going to make it seem like I'm independent on my own. But somebody's still sleeping with somebody here. I keep getting that. And somebody is mad because you're standing strong in your independence. <laughs> This is somebody here. That's that devil working through this energy. This is somebody here that knows you're getting ready to take off and go in a better direction. Something important coming your way. And this is this this devil energy is going to say and do anything to keep you trapped and bound. To stop you from taking that leap and holding you back. And this person's doing everything in their power to get a new beginning with you. Because they see how strong you are and they're trying to hold you back. There's something here. Some kind of investment. A better investment with a better lover. Or there's something here about a... a um, Something here about you really taking power of your life here. Like there could be some kind of like financial investment headed your way or just somebody wanting to invest into you in general here. And this is somebody trying to take back control by trying to get you to invest into them again. Let's talk about guilt. Why is that here for Aries? Guilt. Well, this person wants to guilt trip you. Here they come, tiptoeing back into your life. They're mad that you're moving in silence. They're mad that you are got this vitality every day. Like this person's mad that you're just better. They're better. They're bitter because you're better. And there's something important coming your way. And they want to get in the way of that. So this is somebody here that's strategizing and plotting against you. This is somebody that's trying to figure out the best way to try to knock you off balance. Knock you off course here. And they're going back and forth trying to figure out the best way to come in here. Like, this is somebody here that knows that you're in this energy where you're cutting people out that no longer align with your highest good at this time so they're trying to have some kind of conversation there's something about the wording with this person like they like to use words to manipulate they're doing anything they can to try to guilt trip you back into working on a connection with them so this is somebody that if they know that you're interested in somebody new or just bettering your life in general they want to try to make you feel bad for that make that make sense so this is somebody that wants to make you feel bad because you're done and you're ending it they want to make you feel bad because you've got boundaries up this is somebody here that will try to make it seem like you were at fault for why the connection fell apart. That's what they want to do. Like, it's all about shining the light on all of your darkness when it's their darkness that they're projecting onto you. Doing everything in their power to cause confusions, illusions, getting other people to look at you in a bad lighting, trying to come in here and reconcile. Because this is somebody here that knows that there's some kind of new contract coming in for you and they want to knock you out of that contract. This is somebody that could try to make, there's a marriage for somebody here, or this person is going to try to make you feel bad because, oh, I would, I'll sell you as marriage material, but they're doing that to guilt trip you, so there's some kind of offer coming in, and they want to make you feel bad, so they're trying to give you to give in to something because th this person's got a whole nother motive towards you, like they know that something important is coming your way, and they want to get in the way of that, man. So this is somebody that's mad that you, you're all about loyalty. And this is obviously somebody that was not loyal to you. But they're going to try to make you feel bad because you don't look at them in that lighting anymore. They're they're mad because something's coming your way. That's why they're they're working so hard to guilt trip you. Tell me about decision for Aries. So better decisions coming in. What is that? Tell me about that. Decisions. Somebody wants to end a decision for you. I'm telling you. There's something important coming your way and somebody wants to get in the way of it. Man, there's something here about you making sure that not everything that heads your way, that's like make sure you're ending the right things for yourself. I keep getting that this person really wants to end something for you. Tell me more. 
Tell me more. And it's like this person wants you to choose bad too. They don't want you to choose better for yourself. They don't like it already that you're choosing to create boundaries. You're choosing to heal. Like they're mad about that. This is somebody here that wants to try to make you feel bad because you're going towards better things. And this is somebody that's upset that something is still going in your favor. Yeah, look at them. This is angry. This is an angry mother effer. <laughs> angry. Very angry. They lost control. How dare you choose better? How dare you get the good news that I... Like, man, this person's all over the place. This is somebody here that doesn't like how gifted you are, how your intuition's on point. They don't like how you're staying silent. They don't like the boundaries that you've got. I'll tell you that. This is somebody that knows that you've got something very important coming your way, and they want to try to get in the way of that. Man, these scales are bouncing back out. There could be some kind of decision with the courts that somebody's mad about. This person's mad because you are now receiving something that they wanted to take from you or they didn't want you to have it. And they're mad because you're still getting it. And there's a cycle complete. And there's a new cycle coming in. Something could be at a distance. There could be like news traveling from you from a distance. Some of you guys could be planning on traveling. But somebody doesn't want you to... Get, they don't want you to get out of a cycle so you open up for a better cycle, which is already coming your way. But, you know, that's where that free will comes into play. Our angels will protect us only so much. And that's when we have to do our part by creating boundaries with people. And that's what you're being called to do because there's something important coming your way. And this person wants to end it. Look at that. This is somebody here that's mad that they can't manipulate you anymore. But that's why they're going to work so hard to guilt trip you. They don't want you to have something and it's still coming for you. So... You're really being called to keep boundaries up with this person, man. You've got fire, fire. Like, this person's still sleeping with somebody, too. I keep getting that. And this person's mad that you push back. Like, you're powerful, too. Like, this is somebody that may have some kind of form of power in their life, but they use it for darkness, and you used yours for good, and they're mad that you're able to, like, counteract what they do to you here. They're mad. Oh, well, Earth, Cancer, Pisces, fire, air, air, Earth, air, Earth, Scorpio, and water here so this death card is my only major arcana so this tells me about you no longer letting anybody come in here and try to mend a connection back when something's done it's done and there's because you've ended something there's something important coming in for you so you're being called to still do that so decision better things coming in you got something important continue moving on this is somebody that's mad that you are moving on and you're moving on to something good for yourself and they're mad about that and they want to try to come in here and create illusions because i feel like they've already done some things to try to create the illusions but you're still getting past it this is somebody that's mad and bitter this person's shown you who they are trust them and believe them because that's who they are this is somebody that wanted to mark you has this walking red flag but that's who they are and them coming back towards you is a what it's a red flag because it's not sincere this is someone coming towards you with some kind of secret agenda this is somebody that's mad that you're still receiving something and they want to knock you off of that. So they're trying to figure out how to communicate. So, and there's very well some kind of communication coming in for you that this person wants to, to not for you to receive. This is somebody that knows that you're not going to fall for something, but they're trying to come in here and romance you. And for some of you guys were meant to have a better connection and somebody didn't want someone to trust you. They wanted you to be looked at in a bad lighting and that's not happening anymore either. If it did at all. Aries. Aries. You are the rising star. Being recognized. You got a favorable outcome. And somebody's mad about your transformation. Continue trans continue stepping in your transformation. So somebody's mad that you're still receiving something. And there's that scale. There's something here about court system for somebody. This balance is coming out now. And somebody's mad that something's going your way. Somebody's at a distance. I felt that too. Somebody's at a distance. Something is now foreign to you. And somebody wanted somebody to look at you in a foreign light that, like it wasn't going to fit, like it wasn't the right fit for you. Now, something about a long distance relationship is significant here. Tell me more. Somebody tried to create distance between something here for you. Somebody wanted you to be carrying around old baggage, clinging to an unhealthy relationship. That's why this past energy is trying to work so hard to get you back because they're still trying to get you to cling on to it. You're no longer carrying around this person's burdens anymore and they're mad. And there's something here about you not carrying the burdens of what they were trying to blame you for because that's not what you were doing. Like all of their lies are being exposed. And then we've got the infinite abundance, a prosperous life, unexpected windfalls, 
And you know your worth and your value. That's why you're not going to go back into these connections here. Somebody's mad that you won't fall into it. Taking a risk. Somebody's trying to, to come toward you with this risky energy. This is a risky situation. Somebody knows this. You had that rebirth process here. So this is all about your transformation as well. Somebody who tried to do everything in their power to stop you from going through your transformation. Doing that dark night of the soul. Discovering self and somebody's mad because you discovered who you are, what you want to do, what your purpose is. Tell me more. Somebody knows that they're wasting time. So prolonging the inevitable because this person knows that something's coming your way and they can't get in the way of it unless you let them. So nothing good will come out of this past situation. Somebody tried to make you look like nothing would good come out of you, but the proof is in the pudding. Gossiping, slandering, talking about you, wanted you to have a bad reputation. And it's still going in your favor. You are admired on a pedestal. Somebody didn't want you to be looked at in an admiring light. Somebody really wanted to focus on your flaws, but what about your own flaws? So you got to watch people that want to focus on other people's flaws because they, they're the ones that got the most skeletons in their closet. So somebody wanted somebody to feel like you were out of their league or they're out of your league, and this past person was obviously jealous of you. That's why they wanted to knock you off your pedestal. Because they felt like they weren't good enough for you. So this is the type of person that, well, I'll get you. I love the way you look and when they get you. But then when they get you in a connection, then they want to start tearing you down. Don't dress like that. Don't wear your makeup like that. Don't wear your hair like that. Because they're trying to shred you down. That's what this type of person does. So you've got an old-fashioned love coming towards you. An offer of love. Somebody didn't want you to have this. Your spiritual awakening is definitely significant here. So continue stepping into this for yourself. You're breaking free and you're connecting with your higher self and somebody's mad about that. And somebody's very materialistic. Somebody was greedy. Somebody was trying to get in the way of something that was meant for you. Very possessive and very selfish. They tried to paint you in that light, but that's who they are. Unlocking mysteries. Access to new experiences. What was closed before is now opening. Somebody here for sure thought that they won this with over you and victory is yours there's some kind of victory coming in for you and this person can't stop a dang thing unless you give them the power to so it's like you're almost getting one final test with this person trying to rekindle something here so make sure you pass that test somebody wants to try to come back and make it seem like they realize what you mean to them now but this is somebody that still wants to project onto you Somebody doesn't like that you're able to dig with deep within for answers here. And that's what you're being called to do with this energy trying to come back if you even entertain it. Because this is the energy of what this person is thinking right now. Slow progress. So somebody for sure thought they had you stuck. But I feel like maybe all they did was slow you down a little bit. That's about it. Somebody knows that something's not the right time. Somebody wanted to make it seem like it wasn't the right timing for you to have something. But it's still coming in. Aries. I'm, yeah, Aries. Yeah. Travel. Somebody's at a distance. Somebody's planning on traveling. Somebody's planning on traveling towards you and somebody's mad about this. Somebody's watching you from fake accounts. There's karmic friends that are involved. Uh-huh. So these energies were trying to come for you too. So this is like a whole group of people that came up with the same story to try to take you out. But you didn't get taken nowhere. You're still moving forward. Can't trust these friends. Somebody didn't want you to receive an offer, but it's still coming towards you. So it's like these, like this is like a, somebody could be sleeping with your friend here. Like somebody could, somebody could have slept with a friend of yours. And like, this is somebody that act like a friend, like was close to your ex type energy. And then like this friend and your ex were still talking about you, trying to get information about you. So that's for someone. There's an offer coming your way still. And somebody's mad and upset that it's still coming your way. So this person's trying to figure out how to manipulate you still. They want you back. Dust it off. This person's mad that you're able just to dust it off and just act like they don't exist. So somebody's trying to get some kind of inside scoop about your life all up in your business. Somebody got some bad karma, man. So somebody here knows that the, anybody that was involved in this has got some bad karma coming for them. So somebody's mad that Somebody's mad that you, like somebody's blaming their karma on you, but you reap what you sow, man. I felt that at the beginning. So somebody's mad because their life is falling apart and they feel like it's your fault, but that's that heavy angelic protection that you have around you and your ancestors don't play. So, you know, play stupid games, win stupid prizes is what these people have done. Somebody wanted to make it seem like you were the, a bad choice, that you were a dirty offer. Somebody thought they was going to receive some kind of 
offer and it was dirty and it was for you not to get something. Someone thought that they were going to get something by you not getting something. So somebody received a dirty offer of karma for trying to come for you. Somebody's a drama starter. These are individuals that aren't happy with their own lives, so they try to create drama for everyone else. Groupies. Mm -hmm. A whole group of people try to come up against you, and you still took them all out. That's how powerful you are. So these are all people that don't have their own sense of self, so they try to leech off other people's ideals, and, you know, they, they don't... They, they don't have a purpose or a drive for something, so they try to knock you off of your path. Like, this is a jealous energy. Somebody's going bankrupt. Somebody wanted you to go bankrupt. Somebody didn't want you to have something here. Somebody's karma is that they're going to go bankrupt for trying to mess with you. Somebody's threatened. Someone wanted you to feel threatened. They wanted you to feel bothered because they're intimidated by you. So someone here tried to paint you out as somebody that was like a user, like an opportunist energy, but that's this person coming back for you. Like this is someone that looks at you like you're getting ready to get something. That's why they went back in your life. And now they want to try to come back and kiss your butt. This is somebody that's clearly like something here about this person trying to purposely come back and bring things up from the past to like try to pull, keep you stuck in old trauma. This is somebody here that's like, a walking nightmare, this person. Like, you've learned everything you needed to from this person. This is a happiness hater. This is somebody that's mad that you're still moving forward and still receiving something. Your light irritates their demons. That's why they work so hard to try to destroy you. So, and you remained unbothered. And all that's do is triggering these people that much more that you're not feeding into their drama. Like, these are nothing but drama starters. And they, they're not happy with their self. That's why they seek to destroy other people. Because they've got some kind of internal healing that they need to do that they clearly haven't healed. So, that's why they want to attack. Aries, somebody's still devoted to you. Somebody still looks at you with loving eyes. And then you've got this past energy trying to come back and pull you into this web of lies. Very deceptive, man. This person tried to paint you out as a deceptive person. But that's who they are. There's more than one person here. Tell me more. So someone tried to have a mask and look at you in a bad lighting here. Be cautious of this person. They're operating out of pain and hurt. But that's what these people do. Some of you masculines were going towards feminine or you dealt with feminines that were operating in their masculine energy here. But this is somebody that didn't want you to receive something here. Tell me more. Shallow, hollow, empty. They're bored with their life. That's why they try to mess with yours. Very shallow people, man. Tell me more. So somebody clearly sees that you're taking your life back day by day. You're gaining more power. And somebody's trying to get an opportunity with you now. So they see something still coming your way and they want trying to get a second chance. And it's like this person's purposely trying to get a second chance with you because they know something's important is coming your way and they want to get in the way of that. Tell me more. You're going in a better direction and somebody knows that you've got some wonderful new beginnings coming your way. And now this person's trying to, to get you to go back down the same path that you clearly already have learned everything from. You're going towards your endless possibilities here. And this person knows it, that you've got some good things headed your way. So this is somebody that knows that you've got these boundaries up. So they're going to try everything in their power to get over these boundaries. So you're still being advised to keep these boundaries up because you've got some really good things headed your way here. This person hates how much pride you have for yourself. And this is a very ego-driven, prideful person. Those are two types of, of pride. You have pride for yourself because you love yourself. You're creating boundaries. And this is somebody that doesn't get their way. They let their pride and ego, like, they, like, they seek to destroy you because you're not doing what they want you to do. Tell me more. Somebody wanted you to be rejected. Somebody... Somebody did everything in their power to keep you stuck in rejection and fear. This is someone that could have tried to hex you put witchcraft on you, tried to make your mindset negative, but none of those things are happening. All these energies did was curse themselves by trying to come for you. So who really won some stupid prizes, these individuals? So this is someone that like literally, like I said, they cursed their bloodlines for messing with you. And somebody knows that time's up, that this cycle is complete and these new cycles are getting ready to come in for you and they're mad about that. So this is somebody that's trying to come in here and give you these mixed signals here. But this is somebody that knows that it's not going to work because you stepped into your growth. You found what you wanted to do. You're finding yourself. Or you're finding yourself currently. But it's all about your healing and your growth. And somebody's mad. This, this is, these are energies that did everything in their power to throw dirt on your name. And all it did was make you grow more. 
And somebody clearly wanted somebody to look at you, not in a good lighting, too. I keep getting that. Tell me more. So, somebody trying to get you to open your heart back open to them. Trying to use that beautiful empathy of yours because they feel like it's a weakness of yours, but really it's your strong suit. Somebody's mad that you're opening your heart back up in general. Somebody wanted your heart closed, your heart space closed. They didn't want you to, they didn't want you to, to be like loving. They, they didn't even want you to love yourself. So family could be significant, could be, you know, it's like a, a bunch of different connections that's been around you in your life here. So there could be someone could have someone pregnant because somebody's sleeping with someone. So that's for somebody, not everybody. But somebody's mad that you're creating better family dynamics here or you're, some of you guys could be, you know, creating new, new, just creating children with a new person and somebody's mad about that. So we got twin flame connection. So how I feel about twin flames is... Twin flame is literally you, so don't let these titles keep you stuck because this person wants to do everything in their power to keep you from moving forward. So they may even throw the twin flame connection on this past connection to try to keep you stuck. So I don't like this new title that's being used because it does. It keeps people stuck. Some of you guys haven't met your twin flame. You'll know when you've met your twin flame, so just use your discernment on that. So somebody has literally depleted themselves for trying to come for you. So somebody knows that this isn't going to work. Like this was a long journey to get where you're at. And somebody knows that they're just going to, like I said, they're going to deplete their self. This is somebody here that's doing everything in their power to get you to be longing for the past. So something here about a past, these past energies, like I literally, like they wore themselves out because this, there's, there's something new that is still like something is still coming your way. Like this is a longing energy that's still coming your way. And these energies did everything they could to stop it. Somebody doesn't like that you're charming, graceful, kind hearted, beautiful on the inside and out. And it triggers them. So this person's trying to think of a better way to try to get you back. They want you conflicted and they wanted someone else to not look at you in a good lighting. I keep getting that. So this person's trying to think of the right way to manipulate their way back in. This is someone that's stressed. A lot of arguments, tension. This person could be arguing with somebody else right now and they're trying to come towards you. But this is somebody here that's just mad that you're not arguing and you're not giving in to them like they want you to. Like they stressed. So, well, yeah, they've done cursed themselves. They've got karma on them. Trust your intuition because there's an apology coming in here. Mm -hmm. That's this person trying to fix something here with you. They're going to try to get your forgiveness here because this person knows you've got something important coming your way. That's why they're doing it. So somebody knows that you're clearly in this feminine energy attracting everything towards you at this time and you're not making no moves. You're letting people come to you and you're clearly attracting everything towards you right now. So that's why this past energy is working so hard to try to get you to reconcile with them because I'm telling you, there's something about this person that knows that you've got something headed your way. Aries. Aries. Release old doubts and fears. You are currently undergoing changes that are necessary for your highest good. They are changes that have been long away. Leave the past where it belongs in the past. Trust that everything will fall into place for you in divine timing. If you want to be more successful in life, your priority should be to focus your mindset on all that you want to, to attract into your life. Trust that more is happening than what you can see. Many forces are at work in your favor. Allow them to help you. It's never too late to start over. You have to trust in the magic of new beginnings. They are waiting for you. Notice them, seize them, and appreciate all that you have. Just relax and trust the process. So you clearly are in this energy of attracting everything towards you at this time. So, you know, when you're in that magnetic energy, you've got to be careful because you also go, will attract other lessons if you haven't learned from past ones. And then, of course, we attract the past back towards us when we're getting ready to elevate. So we've got to make sure we learn that lesson as well. So... All right, beautiful Aries, that was your guys' message. I hope that it helped and resonated. If it did not, please check back with me on Sunday. We'll do it all over again. Appreciate you so much. Light and love to you. See you guys Sunday.